Christopher Dora's Uncomfortable Truths, Chapter 2. Wade took a deep breath and placed the phone on speaker. What's good, Trevor? Wade asked as he glanced over at Monica, trying to sound as normal as possible. Man, I've been trying to reach you for the last hour, Trevor replied in a very curious tone. Wade hesitated for a quick moment before he said, I was handling some business. It must have been some business, Trevor replied with a sly chuckle. I can't imagine what's more important than satisfying the woman in your life, he continued. Wade knew he couldn't keep this charade up much longer, so he quickly asked, What exactly do you need, Trevor? I had some ideas I wanted to run by you regarding Lisa's surprise birthday party. I know you're looking to make that day a special one for your lady, so we need to plan something so elaborate that she knows that she's the one. A quick flash of guilt ran across Wade's face as he glanced over at Monica with the same burning desire that he had for her before the phone call. He finally replied, Yeah, of course, but to be honest with you, Trevor, I don't want to go too deeply in debt for one day if you get my drift. But we can talk about that later. I'm still tied up with... Trevor quickly cut him off before he could finish his sentence. I promise you this won't take but a couple of minutes. This is important because we need to move soon and get the right venue and, of course, find out approximately how many people are going to be on the guest list. You know, when I have a task, I get the job done, Trevor insisted. Wade took a deep sigh as he looked back at Monica, who lay with her legs spread wide open as her finger gently moved around her clit. Wade became even more anxious to end the conversation and began walking to the bed. Okay, but, Wade replied, but Trevor quickly cut him off again. Let me conference Monica in. I know her smart ass and know how to make sure things go smooth. Before Wade could respond, Trevor placed a call on hold to conference Monica in. Wade nudged Monica and quickly whispered, Make sure your phone is on silent mode. She quickly grabbed the phone and did just what Wade had said. They both looked at her phone vibrate as the words husband popped up on the screen. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and cut on notifications. Thank you so much for your support.